Um, oh gosh, I look so terrible. It's hard for me to look into this camera. Um, but I wanted to talk about something. Um, just reading this, um, post uh, on Instagram about this woman is posting a video, um, of her sister giving birth in 2023 and her sister unexpected, unexpectedly died afterwards. And I briefly told my story in like three sentences. When I was um, injured from the epidural and um, when I gave birth years ago and, but you know what? This is the thing. I didn't find out till let's see like f four years ago I didn't it took me a couple decades to figure out the truth and the thing is there there are people everywhere worldwide that don't that that don't know what happened to them or their loved ones are in their grave dead from medical and see I was injured from the epidural and you know they gaslighted us out of the hospital they um even talking about this like it's like this just is so traumatizing. Even that this many years ago, the deception and the lying and the intent afterwards, all the, you know, the, the darkness in that is so traumatizing. It's not like somebody accidentally injures you and, you know, and you have a talk about it and they say, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, these things happen like one in a 4,000 and blah, 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 and we'll watch you and we'll monitor, monitor you what, what's, you know, what's going to progress and we'll help you through it and we'll support you through it and get you the help you need. No, no. We're talking 100% lying, covering up, gaslighting, running for cover. Our family doctor actually threatened us, threatened my husband and I. And we had no clue why I was getting sick and why I was losing feeling in my body. And I had, I, I you know, I was, I was brain injured. I was, what I think happened is they accidentally cut through, you know, into the spine, cut through the dura and, and, you know, they cut too far with the needle and accidentally, I think, pulled down on the brain and caused full body neuropathy, like numbness from the neck on down. And the terror in that, the fear and not knowing, not having a clue what was wrong, right? Like not having any clue. And my husband and I were terrified. And it just, it saddens my heart. It breaks my heart looking back to that time. And, and like during that injury in the hospital, I was kind of like, la, 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 la. Like, I thought, you know, whatever's happening, they're going to take care of it. We weren't, I, I wasn't fully conscious what was happening. My husband was terrified. My husband was just in a state of shock and trauma. He's standing in front of me in a state of trauma. And I was terrified that 
he was going to have a heart attack or like lose it. I was a hundred percent worried about him and focused on him. I didn't understand what was going on. I, I was in a state of trauma, but I wasn't conscious, you know, like he was uh, watching this happen. And what happened is they called in like a SWAT team of specialists started showing up in the room. It was an emergency, different specialists and stuff. And they would not give us any information. They were lying to us. They were, you know, they can tell who's vulnerable and who's putty in their hands and who they can threaten and who can, who they can shut up. If you're in there and you're educated and you know, you know, they, they know who they can get away with whom, you know, they know what they can get away with, with who, who, with who you are. They know who you are, right? If you're vulnerable, if you're uneducated, they know. If they know that you're looking at them and, and you're looking like, holy shit, what have you done? They know what they can and can't get away with and with who, right? And the fear and the, you know, like, I wasn't afraid when it was happening. I, I wasn't, I, I didn't clue in. My husband was terrified and in a state of shock and trauma. And I was traumatized. I was in a state of trauma, but I wasn't fearful that they injured me because I didn't understand what, what was taking place. If that makes any sense. Like I was in a state of trauma and trauma going on around me, but I couldn't comprehend that I was injured by these people, right? I think my husband knew. You know, it makes me sad to to realize we went home traumatized and in a state of shock and trauma, but didn't understand that I was medically injured. I was seriously medically injured. And like my nervous system was injured, like full body neuropathy. Neuropathy is, if you, if you have neuropathy and you don't know what it is, it's terrifying. Like there's something, I don't know if other people feel that way. There is something so terrorizing about neuropathy. All of a sudden your, you know, relationship with the world has changed. Your body's doing things it has never ever done before and you're terrified there's something you know that something's terribly wrong with you but you don't know what and um my husband and i thought that well we had no idea we were so, we were so naive and so um uneducated and we thought well I must have some rare disease or you know like maybe I'm dying of some uh, autoimmune disease or this or that which is kind of ironic because it ends up that I have Chiari malformation and medically my Chiari could have been caused by that epidural there are neurosurgeons who deny that uh, epidurals can't cause uh, neuropathy, but then there are neurosurgeons who have uh, made their opinions public about that, and they think that yes, epidurals can cause uh, Chiari malformation, pulling down of the brain, and then the brain is hanging down into the neck, causing issues. So that's my. Chiari could have been caused by that. They told me that my Chiari malformation, my Chiari malformation was diagnosed 10 years after that, but um, absolutely that could have caused, and the neuropathy could have been coming from uh, like brainstem being uh, crammed down into the neck. 
I don't understand yet. You know, like if you Google that, Google epidural injury and, uh, and like full body neuropathy, you can't find that anywhere. If you Google that, what you will see is that the worst case scenario is is nerve damage from the waist on down you know what that is not the worst case scenario of an epidural injury the worst case scenario of an epidural injury is brain damage is a brain injury i believe the worst case scenario of an epidural injury is what happened to me and and i could have been killed i think where where is that full body neuropathy coming from which nerve do you hit like you know the 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 needle goes into the in to the lower spine right and there's a nerve that can injure the perineal nerve or something and that can give you neuropathy from the waist on down what on earth can you hit that will give you full body neuropathy I think pulling down on the brain stem, on the actual brain, brain damage, can give you full body neuropathy. I've never heard of this ever in my life, and I can't find it through research. But it took me years to figure out. It took me like four years ago, I figured out, oh my God, I, the mint, no, no, five years ago, when I was injured from the, the benzodiazepine, the minute my nerve damage started from the benzo, I knew, oh my God, that's what I had from when I gave birth. And I started researching, researching and putting the pieces together. And I absolutely was injured from the epidural. So if anybody has information on that, if anybody knows how to research better than I I am capable of researching how exactly, well, I, th I think my full body nerve damage came from pulling down on the brain and damage to the brain stem, I think. How else can you get full body neuropathy? If you can find that out, let me know. If you can find articles or something. Um, no doctor was willing to tell the... Well, I mean, we were 100% gaslighted, 100% successfully gaslighted, right? So you're not even asking. You're not asking... Well, we went to the family doctor and the family doctor started threatening us. We didn't understand that I was medically injured. And um, I didn't want to get into that because that's traumatizing what the family doctor did to us. But um, my husband died without knowing what had happened to me. And my whole point of this video is I know that there are all sorts of living people and dead people that terrible things have happened to them that were caused by medical and they have no clue no clue at all and often people never find out and often we find out years later You know, there was always so much trauma in that, what happened. It makes me sad to think back when we took the, brought the baby home and we were all in a state of, of trauma, I think, shock and trauma. And it's bizarre for me now to know that, to know that, only we weren't fully conscious of what all happened and nobody around us knew. I think they just, we weren't talking about it. We weren't talking about it to our family members or, or anybody. 
And I think they what they probably saw in us were nervous parents. I don't think anyone understood we were traumatized. And, you know, I had a, a, a dear, close, close friend that w was a close friend of mine for decades. And I don't even think, I think I was in such a state of fear and shock that I didn't even tell her. I think, I don't remember telling her, which is really strange because I would, you know, confide in her with almost everything. And I think my husband and I were just so terrified. But, you know, I read this, this thing on Instagram. This woman makes a post about, and she's, you know, posting a video of her and the new baby and her sister died. And I know that there are loads of people out there that don't even know what has happened to them. And there are loads of families out there that have no clue how their family member members have died. And there are lots of people, you know, laying in their graves and they died without knowing what happened to them. Um, you know, December 24th, six years ago, I was the admin of this huge group online and this woman was, you know, this woman started losing it and, and I didn't know what I was witnessing. I was watching her, watching this, this, her escalate, her behavior escalate, right? Her, I mean, her, I'm watching her beg, beg for help and beg for her life. And she was begging people from the group to help her leave the earth, right? I didn't know what I was witnessing. This beautiful wife and mother. And um, she said she was weaning off a drug and um, and she, she was losing her mind and she didn't know what was happening to her. And then they locked her up. They put her in a psych ward. They, she was about 45 years old. They diagnosed her as bipolar, so they started uh, drugging the hell out of her, giving her, you know, poly drugging her, the full meal deal. And when they let her out of the hospital to go home, she went home and ended her life December 24th that year, six years ago. And I'm watching this, and I'm in a state of shock. And... I don't know what I just witnessed and, and it just, it was a question mark that just hung in my brain and it didn't go away. And during that time in 2017, I'll have to make another video. Um, I'll make another video.